From the parking lot of Mayfair Mall in Victoria, where people are playing hockey and dancing for a good cause, you're watching Go on Shaw TV. On today's show, how one Saanich couple are farming for the future. We'll head to the Western Speedway in Langford for a full throttle go-kart experience. And the township of New Royal has a brand new fire hall. Good job, because this show's about to light up your television set. It's perhaps Victoria's biggest ever street hockey game right here at the Five Hole for Food event, which is a Canada-wide event. Uh, founder, Richard Lote, when did you start this? Five Hole for Food started uh, five years ago. We decided a ball hockey trip across the country for food banks would be a good idea, and here we are six tours later, uh, back in Victoria at our biggest event ever, with loads of food coming in for the mustard seed, and it's been a fantastic day so far. Now, you started this in Vancouver. Uh, what uh, sort of was the catalyst to uh, grow it across the country? You know, I think uh, watching, watching how Canadians came together during the Olympics, uh, where it wasn't about whether you were a Flames fan or a Royals fan or a Leafs fan or a Canucks fan. We were all hockey fans. And I think uh, with that in mind, I realized that using hockey, a passion uh, for all of us, we could turn it into a vehicle for social change. And so uh, we, we would go to cities across Canada. We set up these ball hockey games right in the heart of the city. And we invite people to bring a donation and come by. Cash or food, it all uh, goes to a great cause. And it looks like a lot of the locals are actually missing the beautiful game. Look how much effort they're putting into it in this blazing summer heat. Um, I actually found out the other day what five hole meant. Like one of my coworkers told me it's when the ball goes through the goalie's legs. Is that right? Yeah, it's true. It's, I, I made the assumption that most people knew what five hole meant when we named it five hole for food. But it's been a learning experience for me that actually most people don't know. So I'm on a bit of an educational mission as well to make sure that uh, they know just what the name means. How much food do you want to uh, collect? Because, you know, traditionally we, we collect food for the food banks at Christmas time. Uh, so this is, in, this is like in the middle of the summer. The reality though in the summer is kids are out of school, so they don't have access to things like breakfast programs, etc. cetera. Uh, the people that donate are on holiday, so you don't have as many people giving. And so you find a bit of a pinch point. So I think the fact that we're able to bring the entire community together, raise a bunch of food for the food bank and help them when they need it most, uh, really adds a value. So uh, it's exciting to be doing that year over year. Who's playing? We have some VIPs as well that are picking up sticks. Oh, it's been great. You know, the, the mayor's coming down and supporting us. We've had a few MLAs drop by, obviously, throughout the day. There's uh, some ex-NHLers coming by. And, you know, I find all aspects of the hockey community really get involved. Everyone from, you know, our sponsors like London Drugs and 7-Eleven, Nature's Path, Boston Pizza, but also, you know, the Victoria Royals and local hockey uh, leagues like the Topaz Hockey League, you know. And I think when you see that really every level of hockey is contributing to make this a success, I think that's special because you don't, you don't see that very often. You guys have a DJ slamming out some tunes. You've got, who's that over there? That big pink and green animal. Well, that's, that's Mr. Slurpee, and he's handing out fully Slurpee coupons, so you might want to run over and grab one. Delicious. <laughs> well, in years gone by, it's been a struggle to fundraise enough money to keep Madrona Farm operating as an organic farm. Well, now operator Natalie Chambers is progressing with other conservation ideas, and Daphne Good has the story. Thank you, Daphne, and it's good to see Madrona Farm cultivating ideas as well as food. Uh, speaking of food, we're here at the Five Hole for Food event, which is a nationwide charity fundraiser. Here in Victoria, it's raising funds and food for the mustard seed. And we're going to be hearing from the mustard seed shortly on the show. Uh, but first, let's take you to a, a story from a new volunteer reporter we have working with VI Sports. His name is Mark Robertson. It's a high-octane story at Western Speedway for people of all ages. Coming up, a new chapter for the View Royal Fire Station. We'll visit their new uber-modern facility, so stay with us. On the receiving end of all this fun and mayhem, We've got the Mustard Seed Food Bank, uh, Executive Director Colin Tessier. Uh, what do you think of all this that's happening and, and what do you expect to raise from being here? 
Uh, well, first of all, this is an incredible show of community support for, for causes of poverty in our community. It's The energy here is great. We have local fire and police and just so many people supporting us. Our goal today is $10,000. Uh, we're pushing hard toward that, and I, uh, you know, it looks like we're going to meet it, but uh, the need is so great, so anything that we can, uh, we can get over and above, we're really excited about. And so events like this go a long way to help us keep our shelves full and be able to provide uh, healthy, nutritious food to people who are food insecure in our community. A couple of years I did a number of reports on the food bank and we were around 7,000 people affected. Uh, what's the numbers like now? So we estimate in the CRD there are 20,000 people who are considered food insecure, meaning they don't have consistent access to the food they need. Um, at the Mustard Seed we see uh, well over 5,000 people every month, uh, individual people every month who come to us in, in, in need of access to, to our food bank and other uh, related support services. Well the Sandage firefighters are presenting a $1,000 check to the cause here, the Five Hole for Food. Uh, it's the View Royal firefighters, the men and women, who are now celebrating a brand new building. And Tyler Hooper has the story. Coming up on Go, Dan Kahn's still digging away at becoming Vancouver Island's most gracious green fingers in the garden. But he's not quite there yet. That's why they call him the Virgin Gardener. Feast your eyes on my feet. All right, well, we're about to wrap up our show here on location at Mayfair Mall for the Five Hole for Food event. And uh, we bumped into Kevin Nunn, who has actually done a lot of fundraising and charity stuff himself on the island. What are you up to this year, Kevin? Because you've pulled a mini, you've uh, ran the Malahat. What are you doing now? Um, on Sunday, the 26th of July, I'm doing Ironman Canada. You are calling out to people to maybe throw in a few dollars to help raise some money for you. What's the cause that you're so passionate about? It's all to do with kids that are dealing with cancer or have dealt with cancer or families that have lost uh, kids to cancer, you know, very dear and near to my heart. Um, I was very honored to be a, a guest rider in 2013. Um, and this is my sixth year of fundraising now and raising money for kids dealing with cancer. So the money that I raise this year again will go to the four riders that are riding with the Sandwich Police Department this year. So that'll add to their total. So, you know, I want the people to go and, you know, every penny accounts. So, you know, people say I've only got, you know, a dollar or two dollars. That one or two dollars adds up to ten, to a hundred, to a thousand. And it goes towards the research into pediatric cancer but also helps to send kids to Camp Good Times, which is an amazing place where kids can be kids and forget about their day-to-day -day trauma dealing with cancer. Now, Kevin, Iron Man, you're not Robbie Down Robert Downing Jr. Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. Third time's a charm, uh, but you are Billy Idol. Well, you know, it, it took off, you know, in 2010 when I said to the chief about just going Billy Idol White and that raised two and a half thousand dollars being from the UK you know and I kept the theme and each year I do something crazy and it's Billy Idol does this or Billy Idol does that and you know I've got some good backing now so um, you know in the last five years my goal was to raise over a hundred thousand dollars and we're at 104 thousand right now so you made it well I didn't really make it for me the community made it because without the community without people supporting what I do it doesn't happen it's a team effort and I thank everybody that's been involved over the last few years just exactly what does it take to prepare, train for an Ironman? Um, I've been training now for 10 months, so I've been on a training program designed by Ironman Canada because it's a 3.8k swim, 180k on the bike, followed by a 42k run. And you have to come in within 17 hours, but you've also got cutoffs. You've got to come out the water within 2 hours and 20 minutes. You've got to come in off the bike in 10 and a half hours combination of swim and bike. And then as long as you come in under midnight, um, your class is an Ironman. So, I'm, I've been dedicated, it means a lot to me. For me, it's about crossing that finish line and raising money for the kids with cancer. Corporate teams showing it's never too hot for hockey here at Mayfair Mall. We've been raising money for the mustard seed and, and food as well. And if you want to get involved in this cause, there are two ways. One, go to the Five Hole for Food website, uh, fiveholeforfood.com, or you can go directly to the mustard seed, either their website or downtown at their depot, maybe you could drop off a box of goodies. It's all up to you. And uh, my name's James Green. Thank you, Victoria. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir, casual designer fashions.
Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J.